MPC of the CBN has voted to increase the benchmark interest rate to 18%. Hi, welcome to what's happening this at the top 10 stories. At number one, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria has voted to increase the benchmark interest by 50 basis points to 18%. The CBN Governor Godwin Omefiele disclosed this while reading the communique of the second MPC meeting of the year on Tuesday. Addressing newsmen at the end of the two-day meeting, Omefiele said the committee voted to keep the asymmetric corridor at plus 100 and minus 500 basis points around the NPR. At number two, the Senate on Tuesday during plenary highlights the 16 bills passed by President Muhammad Buhari and it has constituted a committee to probe why President Buhari did not assent to 19 out of the 35 constitutional review bills transmitted to him by the National Assembly. Recalling President Buhari had signed into law 16 constitutional amendment bills out of the 35 bills transmitted to him by the 9th National Assembly. The Senate President Ahmed Lawan commended President Buhari for assenting to 16 constitutional amendment bills. At number three, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has formally filed his petition to the Elections Tribunal to protest the outcome of the February 25th poll. This was disclosed in a statement issued by the chief spokesperson of the Obi Dati Presidential Campaign Council, Yunusa Tanko. Obi's petition is coming four weeks after the presidential National Assembly elections that produced the president elect Asiwaju Bola Tinubu. At number four, the Chief Whip of the Senate, Oji Kalu, has declared that it is his turn to be the Senate President. Oji Kalu made his intention to contest for the Senate Presidency in the 10th National Assembly on Tuesday while briefing newsmen at the National Assembly. Kalu, who won re-election to represent Abia North in the Red Chamber, may be contesting with Goshula Pabio Sani Musa, amongst others. At number five, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, says the conduct of the 2023 general election has shown progress but is not yet perfect. Bajabiamila stated this on Tuesday at the resumption of plenary after the election. The Speaker, while acknowledging the challenges that bedeviled the election, noted that the House will pass the Electoral Offences Bill to end electoral violence. At number six, the federal government has arraigned Taku Mamo, an ex-terrorist negotiator, on a 10-count charge bordering on terrorism financing, amongst others. Mamo, who will be arraigned by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation on behalf of the federal government, will be arraigned before Justice Inge Court of a federal high court Abuja. The charge was signed by Director of Public Prosecution of the Federation, M.B. Abubakar. At number seven, a former registrar joint admissions and matriculation board, Professor Dibu Ojerinde, has sued the Independent Coral Practices and Other Related Offences Commission for alleged unlawful arrest. The matter, which was listed on Monday's cost list alongside the earlier money laundering suits filed against him by the Anti-Corruption Commission, could not proceed. Recalling ICPC had accused Ojerinde of diverting public funds to the tune of 5 billion naira and charged him with 18 counts of money laundering. At number eight, spokesman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Femi Baba Femi on Tuesday in a statement disclosed that the federal high court sitting in Lagos and Ogun State have sentenced six drug traffickers to a total of 156 years imprisonment. Baba Femi said the agency filed charges on offenses bordering on drug dealing, transportation, and conspiracy to transport illicit substances filed against them. A drug dealer, Olumide Elegbede, was sentenced to 20 years jail term. Ahmed Abdul Sabor was convicted and sentenced to 10 years imprisonment on each six count charges, while Okechuku Ume, Lanre Adebayo, Adigun Adeshino, and Emmanuel Omije were convicted, and each of them was sentenced to five years on count one, seven years each on counts two and three. At number nine, the President Muhammad Buhari has approved the reappointment of Idris Musa as Director General of the National Oil Spills Detection and Response Agency. The Ministry of Environment made this known via its Twitter handle on Monday. Musa was first appointed on April 1, 2019 for an initial tenure of four years. According to the statements, the reappointment takes effect from April 1, 2023. Finally, at number 10, on Tuesday, thousands of Los Angeles school employees will begin a three-day strike cancelling classes for 422,000 students to demand a 30% increase in pay. The Los Angeles Teachers Union has asked its 35,000 members to walk out in solidarity and to avoid crossing the support workers' picket lines. The union workers in the Los Angeles Unified School District is demanding a 30% increase in pay. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening.